From the combined newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay, KVAL News at 5 starts now. We are counting down the days until election night with election transparency, a major concern. The Lane County Elections Office wants voters to literally look in on the process. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Kammerman and I'm Kendall Bartley. Reporter Juliet Smith actually went inside of the elections office earlier today to learn more about their process as they aim to be as transparent as possible. The Radical Transparency or Meaningful Observation Initiative is giving the voters what they need. Dina Dawson began her role as the Lane County Elections Clerk in 2022. We get everything checked in. And since then, she's been the making some changes on. with the aim of being more transparent about the ballot process. We have all of these laminated markers that show where ballots are coming. One of the first changes she made upon arrival was chain of custody. The chain of custody process with unique seals was not in place. After the seal, they're put through this machine, which cuts open the ballots with accepted signatures. It takes an image of the envelope. The software compares and accepts about 40% of the signatures. If the software is not sure, so about 60% of the signatures, our team of election workers do the signature verification. Another effort that they're making towards more transparency is this 24 seven live stream that's been in place since 2022. It helps folks understand um, and just get a, a bird's eye view into exactly what's happening. After that, they're stored until the election and then run through high speed scanners. We know where every single ballot is along the entire way. If a voter's intent isn't clear, the ballot is evaluated by a bipartisan team of two election judges. It requires requires two election officials to enter this room to ensure the highest level of security. Dawson also says the election office hasn't received any threats towards election workers thus far. After the election office received suspicious white powder last year, Dawson says they're prepared for another incident like this to happen again. Yes, we have a suspicious mail procedure. Reporting at the Lane County Election Center, I'm Juliette Smith. Now, as for that suspicious white powder from last November, it was sent to the FBI who is investigating, uh, but there's been no update provided. Meanwhile, Dawson is expecting, she says, a 45% turnout, which is roughly 140,000 ballots in Lane County. We've been covering election candidates and proposals, ballot measures over the past few months. Head on over to KVAL.com for more information on those issues.